Alrighty, y'all, so I found like one, two, three, four, five, six items on clearance that I'm going to pick up. So you just got like some Nike running shorts for men's. I mean, they got these marked down all the way like down to like five bucks. So that's a great deal. Got like these Adidas like joggers right here at only like 15 bucks. And these are selling for like right around like 50 bucks. And you just got like some Oregon Duck like mesh shorts all the way down to like basically like seven bucks. Got like a Seahawks t-shirt, super cheap, only like $8.29. Then you just got like two of these duck polos, both at like $6.19 a piece. Thanks. Cupboards are pretty barren here today. Some Nike Accelerate 2s. Missing the insoles. Oops. really dirty for a small profit. Thank you, sir. Nike Hyper Dunks for women, women's eight. These have been here going on like a month now, still at 20. So like eight bucks on these hokas they got a little bit of wear on like the bottoms but i mean still in fairly good shape you don't see like any tears or anything so at eight bucks man these are definitely a go
this in the insoles. These are like some Jordan one lows right here. For 12 bucks. Alrighty, so these are these are like a pair of Jordan one lows for women. Looks like a women's like seven and a half. So there are like nine listed. And kind of checking the sales through rate. Not the greatest sell through rate, only one is sold out of the nine, and those sold for like 40 bucks. And I don't think there are any seven and a halves available. Let me just double check. Yeah, so no seven and a halves available. So in this case right here, whenever somebody does come looking for these in this size this will be the only one available and i think you probably can get a little bit more than 40 in my experience maybe closer to like 50 to 60 so we'll roll the dice somewhat on these right here but at 12 bucks i think it's worth it Alrighty, y'all so two quick pickups inside of deseret you guys seen me doing some research on the jordan one lows right here for women in pretty decent condition for the most part just need to maybe scrape some of the stuff that's going on inside of the bottom soles right here but overall pretty good shape in a women's seven and a half no seven and a half listed i know there was one that sold for like 40 bucks but once the right person comes along this will be the only option out there and eventually this will turn into probably like a 50 dollars sale and lastly be honest with you i didn't even look these up in the store at eight bucks a great deal on hokas and these are in fairly good condition got a little bit of wear on the bottoms but nothing too crazy that i think that'll stop somebody from picking these up so two quick finds inside of deseret for only like 20 bucks all right y'all know that anytime i come over to deseret gotta stop at burlington's before i head back on my side of town like some adidas baseball cleats 20 bucks got like some harajis here at 45 these same adidas from last week still at 35 bucks initially when i first walked in i thought somebody had finally bought those nike golfs that were around the corner but it looks like they were just moved i think if they were like Somewhere between 20 and 30, they would be sold already. So it looks like they're finally starting to clearance a lot of the Trey Young. So did some research though, they still aren't moving. And the ones that do sell don't really sell for much money, like right at like 50 bucks. So these right here are a pair of Nike Pegasus 40. Bill Bowerman. If you don't really know the history of Nike, Bill Bowerman is the individual who found who helped co-found the company with Phil Knight. And one of the, my favorite books that I've ever read is Shoe Dog, just kind of breaking down the history of Nike. Pretty clean colorway and like that Oregon color, but did some research on these. They were like 50 here, and they're selling for like right around like a hundred, but in this case the deciding factor for me is looking at how many of these are listed in this size and this is a 13 people got 13s listed for like under 100 so i like the color but not going to be profitable enough 
All right, if you've been kind of watching like some of my recent videos, I've been finding quite a bit of these. Most of them have been like in the bigger sizes. I'm trying to stay away from smalls, but this is like dirt cheap on like $8.79. I could even like wear this one myself because I could easily fit this. I've been selling those for like 45 bucks all day and I think I've been picking them up for like under 13. So even though the smaller size, I'm gonna pick this one up, may resell it or I may even just keep it. But at eight or 879, you definitely can't pass that up. So this Nike, I believe this is like a dry rivalry, like basketball jacket for a women's. Retail at like 60 bucks and the huge sizes are doing really good, especially like the two XLs and the three XLs. And this is all the way down to like 11 bucks. I think these are selling for like right around 50, so a no brainer at that price. So you got another one of these at like 12.69. I think I picked like this same size up like two or three weeks ago and it sold within like a few days. So I'm gonna grab this one as well. So you got more of these Nike running shorts for men on clearance. Just like at the last Burlington's. Five bucks basically. So only like nine bucks on this Columbia tech trail like a quarter zip pullover for me and looks like it retail at like 45 and i'd be selling like a, a lot of this kind of stuff from the bins for like 20 bucks pre-owned so definitely a deal for brand new at nine so you got like this yale hoodie right here great size of men's xl and it's been reduced down to like not even 10 bucks like 9.69 this same exact hoodie just sold for like right at 50 bucks so coming home with me okay y'all so here are like all of the items that i'm gonna pick up so i found like two of these over here that i didn't show on camera so here they are like i picked some of these up from like another burlington's like probably like a month ago at 8.29 man these were like a bargain basement deal so i'm going to get both of those also found like a couple of like t-shirts retail at like 35 they were only like 439 i think i got like two of them and here's like a second one it's like five bucks but still really good deal then i found like another one of these thermals that i showed you guys 879 so i got ended up getting like two of those And then more t-shirts, another one at like $4.39. Oh, and then I actually found like two more of them. So it makes three of these right here. So all at like $8.79. Got like these Nike running shorts. Only like $5.19. And then you guys seen like the basketball jacket, the Yale hoodie, and the duck like lightweight pullover. Or hoodie and then like the Columbia Trail Tech quarter zip so all of these guys okay y'all so picked up like 13 items in Burlington's for right at like a hundred bucks so a screaming deal to get like all of that stuff for brand new like brand new t-shirts that you can sell for probably like 25 bucks for like four or five bucks that's crazy running shorts that you can sell for like 30 bucks only for like five bucks so a lot of good deals in in there and as i said like in previous videos here recently my main focus in 2024 is mostly on retail arbitrage and online arbitrage in the future that's where i'm looking to pivot my business solely eventually still like to do a lot of thrifting because you can still make money there but you know i got a lot of kids to support and as you kind of just progress you just want to be selling like newer and better items because typically you can sell those items for more money 
with the same amount of effort and so <laughs> you can't create more time but you can create more value value with finding just better products and got like a lot of hope and dan landing, landing in the ducks got like a ton of oregon duck gear the program is really stable and i think like once you get like towards football season a lot of this stuff will will be selling like in droves right now and you probably just get sales here and there but i'm okay with that because i mean if they were bought at like a great price eventually you'd be able to make your money on them so I appreciate you guys for coming along with me. If you got anything out of the video, like it, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll catch you guys right back here on the next video. This might be all that I know. I think it's okay. I've got a long way to grow. At my own pace. Go the long way. No one taught me how to walk, but I figured it out fine.